Hi friends and subscribers, this is Mahmoud Sheikh and today I am going to discuss about developing the functionality of uploading image using PHP, jQuery and Ajax with progress bar using code generator framework. Okay, so this is the design of our application uh, which allows the user to select the image from the system. Okay, I will select any file and when I click on upload, uh, that image will immediately will get stored inside the server and the link of that image will st will uh, stored inside the database table okay so now i have selected an image and when i click on upload the status of that upload will be shown to the user with the help of this progress bar user can view how much percentage of image is been uploaded uh, syst systematically here with this progress bar okay and once the image gets uploaded successfully with 100% then that image will, will get stored inside this folder uploads and the link of this image will be stored inside this table okay so now uh, in this video we are uh, not only discussing about moving the image into the folder we are also discussing about saving the link of that uploaded folder inside the database table okay so now uh, using and that we are doing using php jquery and ajax okay so now let us go to our project okay so this is our project coordinator image upload okay so when you download the coordinator framework uh, then before then you will get a controller okay which is welcome.php okay so if you want to change the name of your default controller you can do that by going to your config folder and then there is a file called as routes and inside the route you have a uh, settings for changing the uh, name of your default controller okay suppose i have renamed my controller to something else okay uh, like uh, image upload okay then you need to mention that name inside this roots as well okay so now before going ahead we need to make few settings okay and that settings you you need to make inside your auto load.php file okay here in this functionality i'm using form validation and database okay and these are the libraries which i'm using these are the libraries of coordinator okay and if you are using these libraries then you have to mention them first inside the libraries and i am also using the helpers of coordinator which are form and url okay and you also need to mention these helpers inside the autoload.php file okay and since i am storing the link of the image uploaded image inside the database that's why i have to set the database configuration also inside this database.php file and i have to set host name as localhost username as root i have not set any password for my database so i have just leave at his blank and then the name of which database is code ignash upload okay which is the name of my database you can see here okay inside that i have created a table with two fields id and user file okay so now let me just close these two files okay and next okay here i have created a view okay so this is okay, so let me just close these things notes as well okay so inside the views folder i have created a view as upload view inside the upload view i have linked my css and js files okay so i'm using bootstrap framework uh, so i have linked that framework and it's css and css files i have already linked in the head of this view again i also need to use jquery form.js as well okay so the uh, i will put the link in the description from where uh, you can download all these files okay next since i'm uploading the images inside an uploads folder which i have created inside my project okay let me just 
show you that okay so this is my project and here inside my code mirror image upload project name i have created a folder as uploads and inside this folder i'm uploading the images okay now next thing is apart from creating the uploads folder i also need to create a model okay so inside the model i have written the function uh, where i'm inserting the data inside the table okay so now let's just first uh, go to our welcome.php okay so which is my controller which i have created inside this controllers folder okay so this welcome controller extending the code igniter controller which is the base controller and inside that i have created an index function okay so whenever i run my application the first function which will get executed is the index function and inside this index function i have called my upload view okay and then there is an upload function which will get called immediately when i upload an image okay so now let us go to our upload view okay as i have already told you that i have linked my css and js files inside the head tag and then i have created a navigation menu and then a container okay and inside that container i have created a panel and inside that i have a panel body and then a form okay and a form has an attribute method which is which indicates post which means i am sending a post request to my server okay and it has an id as image upload or up, uh, upload image id okay inside that i have created a input file type element and i have used an button as well okay and there is a progress bar as well okay and then the name i have assigned it is user file this name should exactly match with the field that you have created inside your table okay now the moment when the user click on the upload submit button the id which i have assigned to my form element which get which will get passed to this submit ajax submit okay so whenever user submit the button uh, this function will get called and here i am taking the name of the image and assigning it to the user file okay so this use upload file is the id which i have assigned to my input file type okay so with this i can get access to the name which uh, name of the image which user is trying to upload okay so now with this i am assigning that name to this user file variable okay so now let us uh, suppose uh, i have selected an image eric okay then the name eric.jpg will get stored inside this variable okay and then here i am checking the condition if the user has selected the image then i am submitting then submitting an ajax request to this url upload and i am sending that ajax request to this upload function inside the welcome controller okay now next is okay uh, when i make a request to upload function then next i am running in before submit function which says before i send a submit before i send a request to the server the width of the progress bar will be zero which is zero right now okay so as on i send a request when i the, the moment when i click on submit button then the upload progress will get started and then i calculate the percentage and then i display that percentage to it on the progress bar okay i'm displaying this percentage on this progress bar here okay so here i'm calculating the percentage and then i'm displaying it okay and then in the else part i'm displaying an alert message whenever user tries to upload without selecting the image okay now okay next is so whenever user click on upload button after selecting the image the post ajax request will be sent to this upload function inside welcome controller here i am assigning 
the uploading path okay inside which i am uploading the images to this config folder and then the types of images which i want to use to upload and then the maximum size width and height of the image and then i am assigning the name of the image which i am trying to upload to this image variable okay suppose here i am uploading jack then the name jack.jpg will get assigned to this image variable okay now here later on i need to check whether the user whether user trying to upload an image uh, is a jpg image jpeg image gif image or png image okay so to make uh, that decision i need to separate the file name with the extension okay so here in this case this jack is the file name and dot jpg is the extension okay so now um, i need to make a check here to make sure whether user uploading the image that which comes under these formats okay for that i need to explode this complete name i need to upload uh, i need to explode cut it out or split this complete check.jpg into two halves uh, okay and i need to store these two parts inside an array okay where the index zero of that array will hold only the name of the image which is jack and the index one of the array will hold only the extension okay so that's what i have done it here okay after exploding this image okay then in the i have divided that in two an array and the first zeroth index of that array uh, i have stored the name of the file and inside the first index of that array i am storing the extension okay and then i am assigning that file name which i had stored inside the zeroth index of the array to this config file name okay so now my config file name contains the name of the file so in this case which is jack okay so now next is image types okay so i have created an array where inside which i have mentioned the types of images which i want user to upload okay and then i have made a data array in, uh, to which i have assigned the path of uploaded folder okay so this base url will return me the url as 127.0.0.01 slash project name slash index.php and then to which i have assigned the name of the file this url this complete url i have stored inside this array okay and then next i am calling the model which i have created inside the models folder you can see there is a model folder inside which i have created upload model this upload model is extending the code igniter base model okay and inside that i have created an upload data function to which i am passing the data which i am sending here okay so with the data i am sending the link of the folder inside which i am uploading the image okay so now this link i am sending to this upload data function and then i'm inserting the data into the table upload okay so now i have loaded the model and then i'm checking if the image i'm trying to upload is is comes under these following formats okay whether the image i'm uploading is a jpg image jpeg image gif or png image okay so that i will check using this if condition okay uh, if the extension of the image which user is trying to upload is, comes under this image types array then i'm allowing the user to upload that image using by uh, using the upload library and passing the config array to this upload library and then i'm allowing the user to upload the image inside this folder as well as inserting the data inside this table inside this table by calling upload data function which i have created inside upload model okay so now okay there's just that's what uh, uh that's everything about uh, saving the data inside the database and saving the image inside the folder okay so, so this upload function will get called the moment when i 
click on submit button the moment when i click on submit button that function will get called uh, by making an ajax request okay so uh, this is the code of uh, uploading the image to the server uh, and saving the link of that uploaded image inside the database using php ajax and coordinator framework okay so uh, i hope you understood how to upload an image using php jquery and ajax uh, with coordinator framework and uh, that's uh, that's all for this video and uh, i hope you like this video i hope you got some useful and valuable information out of this video if you like this video click on like button share it with your share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching